Matthew Stokes marked his 100th game and David Wojcicki came in for the suspended Joel Selwood as Geelong aimed to do the double on St Kilda this season. Darren Milburn kicked the Cats home by a point in the dying seconds in round one and they've been unbeaten since. Tenth on the ladder with four wins and a draw coming into this game, the Saints are slowly surging towards the top eight. Justin Kaczynski and Lee Montagna returned at the expense of the two Toms, Simkin and Ledger. For a six minute period early in the match, two Ds dominated the scoring. Daniel Menzel for Geelong, David Armitage for the Saints. Kaczynski, great gift to Armitage, simply must and with a bit of help from the bounce, does. Steve Johnson and Sean Dempster came to grips before Menzel and Armitage traded goals to lock the scores at 12. Oh, he's made a good fist of it. That is right through the middle. Menzel's got two. Armitage has got two. Adam Schneider was denied taking a set shot at goal. Oh, hello. So they're turning it over here. The runner. Because the runner was in the way. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Before Jimmy Bartell's night was over due to friendly fire. Equally spectacular mark by Podziadli, but he might have taken out a teammate here in Bartell who looks in a spot of bother. Um, it's the double whammy, isn't it? It's the backside into the head and then the head hitting the ground. A couple of goals from Farron Ray put St Kilda ahead by three points of the first change. Terrific little turnaround from the Saints after Geelong looked like it might be starting to get on top. Despite a little slip, Menzel waited for the traffic to go past before he saw the green light to goal. Driving the Cats forward, Menzel low, ball might go all the way, what a kick, that's his third. Stokes and Cameron Ling added to the Cats' total. James Podziadli bowled over another teammate, but Nathan Vardy recovered before the J-Pod added to his 23 goals this season. Gould does the spoiling, Wojcinski back to Podziadli, it's another one to Geelong. Nick Revolt made one big impression in a quiet first half. Jack Stephen with the Saints' only goal of the term. James Kelly, the next one into the Cats' casualty ward, before Paul Chapman kicked Geelong sixth of the quarter. At halftime, Geelong 9-3-57, St Kilda 5-4-34. Kaczynski the first to find the big sticks in the second half. And that is the bottom line. It's through and the Saints are in it. Ryan Gamble came up trumps to trim the margin to two goals. Gamble sets himself from behind. He's got it. Beautiful mark from Ryan Gamble. Staggered by a knock late in the second quarter, Mitch Duncan responded to the Saints' charge. The give was good to Duncan, shuffles it, decides to go solo. Pretty good decision that. Cats get a steadier. Six goals last week, Pods Adley pushed the Cats into the 70s and some Saints fans to the edge. She's, she, she's had a gut full of razor ray. Oh! <laughs> Brett Peake raised hopes of a final quarter surge from the Saints, but when Travis Varco found Menzel, the Cats created more breathing space. Menzel, if he kicks this, it'll be his fourth. And he's kicked some telling ones tonight, none more so than that. Geelong lead is back beyond four goals. Peake potted another goal for St Kilda before Vardy curled in the Cats' reply. Vardy for his second beautiful looking kick. Brad Ottens put the finishing touches to a convincing win, leaving the Saints winless in five MCG games this season and coach Ross Lyon preparing the post-mortem well before the siren. Full-time Geelong 15-10-100, St Kilda 11-6-72. Yeah, I think we've all got uh, a lot of confidence in that we can run out of the game. We had a pretty good pre-season, so yeah, I think three-quarter time everyone's pretty confident we could run it out and sort of run over the top of them in the end. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.